I don't know much about computers. My mom got a computer. She put some games on it. I'm a computer. Now when someone comes here, they'll be like, why did someone throw everything on the ground? Oh, Jesus Christ, Cuddles. It scared the balls out of me. What is this? Like all these have little electric things. This is like a grown-up toy collection, everyone. Oh. This is beautiful. I oh, like laser rifle. Love train, that's my favorite thing in here. Look at all these books. Where's the light switch for this friggin... The love of god ball arms. Friggin loud as shit. Take vintage lollipops mag, 2056. Aha! Now I can sell it on eBay. Alright, I'm gonna check that in a second. Alright. Oh, God. Really? Jesus, Jiminy Cock Christmas. Oh, my God. I mean... Uh, no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so much. Feel like I'm reading real emails. Mm, 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 mm. I mean, I don't, I don't know. Uh, I mean, I, I commend the mod author for all this uh, definite backstory. I don't know if you guys want to pause and kind of look through it. Uh. Yeah. Let's see. I need to go back. There we go. Nice. To whom it may concern, the attached emails will show that all actions taken by the Chief Counsel and or Legal Department of Lollipops, Inc. were performed in good faith and in compliance with applicable statutes and regulations. Any activities retroactively determined to be unlawful were performed by or at sole discretion of the Chief Executive Officer without the knowledge or consent of the Chief Counsel or Board of Directors. Larry Slater, founder and CEO of Lollipops, Inc. All right, so... Oh, this... All right, so this whole building... All right, now I understand. This whole building is about... This is the lollipops, you know, where the CEOs and everything, the brass hang out. And the, these are all notes about building the area. Okay, I understand. Oh! 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 Yeah, baby! This is mine. This is mine. This is mine! No! It's my toy. I'm setting it up. It's mine forever. Only good toy in here. Well, hello there, computer. You wanna talk to me? Oh, God. Ball arms. Groovatron. Alright, so we came in from there. Doesn't seem... Wasn't there a third floor? I thought there was a third floor. Nine seventeen. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure we exhausted every uh, place in here. That's kind of cool. That little, uh, those windows, pretty sweet. Unopened doors. Hmm. A shower, you put your soap there so it doesn't fall down. Perfect. I'll see you losers later. <laughs> You're gonna be too slow to get me, actually. It's gonna be real dark. Alright, back at the station. I'm gonna be heading to the Mountain Springs siding. Chugga chugga choo choo. Here comes the porn train. Lock door. Let's not do that. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. This is. You hussy. Alright, well, we're back here, I guess. What? Hmm. Alright, I request. Discover the origin of the handler's fetish. I don't understand what that has to do with... Because I thought we were going to find the... Uh, the guy in the tunnels. That's why we Yes, the master? Uh, I could take pictures of her. Let's talk about Stag. I want you to pose for the magazine. Oh, of me? Oh, I can pose for the magazine. <laughs> uh, do you have a name other than the handler? Yes, I'm called simply Handler. When context would make the Handler cumbersome. Well, I gave the Handler the Handler. Oh, wait. No, I mean a real name. Wait, was that a joke? I was looking for something handy. Easy to remember. Hey, there you go. Handy. Was that a joke? Humor is like the nature of the Buddha. To some, it's everywhere. To others, it's nowhere. I don't know you that well, but there's a zero chance you're a Buddhist. Uh, I was looking for something handy. Easy to remember. Hey, there you go. Of course not. But I am a student of philosophy. Right. Back to your name. Handler is a title. You must have a real name. Probably. But I can't remember a time when I did. Oh my god. Handy. A bit degrading. I like it. Oh. Handy. Um. I have questions about using the stag effectively. What would you like to know, master? Can he use weapons? Yes. Can he wear something else? Kilts are one thing, but that looks vulnerable. <laughs> Can he fr really fuck someone to death? Yes. That was once its customary reward for obedience. However, if the victim survives, it can't immediately recouple. Although its erection won't subside after ejaculation, hypersensitivity persists for several minutes. Oh. Likewise, it won't stick its hand in hot coal or jump off a cliff. No matter how earnestly it wants to obey, its animal instincts are too strong. Alright, that's... Okay. Uh, can he torture people without killing them? Of course. That's its purest, most perfected function. Oh, God. Years of training were required for it to recognize the threshold beyond which the internal injuries it inflicts become life-threatening. Can he use weapons? It is incapable of understanding how to use firearms or energy weapons, at least not with any kind of accuracy. It can swing a club or a sword with incredible force, but it lacks the patience for perfectly timed parry and thrust. Ah, uh, but its hands are magnificent and lethal. It can use anything that makes them even more deadly. It's quite fond of knuckle spikes. Can wear something else? It finds restrictive armor uncomfortable. It will wear it if ordered, but it can become distracted and unpredictable in combat. Obviously, it's incapable of operating advanced armor with powered mobility or other sophisticated augmentations. Anything else I should know? When it begins to rut, it's single-minded. When ordered to torture, it won't stop until the victim is on the brink of death. When ordered to kill, it won't stop until the victim oh, is dead no. or it ejaculates. Whichever <laughs> comes first. While it's in the act, it's vulnerable. Oh, God. So it's inadvisable to initiate these actions on the battlefield. And obviously, any place where bystanders witness murder or torture is likely to become a battlefield. You there. Fuck that man to death. Got it, thanks. I tremble with anticipation at the suffering your enemies will know. Yeah, okay. Um, come with me if you want to live. 
Instructions. Yes. Got with me. It's time to serve as I see fit. Mm, of course. Uh. Oh God. Oh my God. All right. I didn't mean. I didn't think it was gonna be this. I mean, I. Uh, I'm just trying to find. I want to do your quest, lady. What happens next is between you and me. Dismiss the stag. I want the stag to see this and smell it. I want him frustrated and mean. Oh, Jesus. Uh, no, I don't want... No. It will make sure we are not disturbed. Oh, alright. There we go. Oh, Jiminy Christmas. There was no music. You should have at least played some classical jazz. Yes? Classical jazz, where was it? Um... Yep. You got me... Alright. You're joking, right? Alright, yeah, we already did that. Uh... What fetish does she have? Having that guy fuck people to death? Lollipop's manager training manual. As a manager in the world's premier adult entertainment company, you'll need to forget some lessons you learned at MBA school or the Super Duper Mart. First, the customer is not always right. They're always cheap and horny. Your job is to make sure horny overrides cheap. Second, quality is not job number one. Skin flicks don't win. Oscars and strippers don't win Tonys. The cheaper you can run the business without losing customers, the bigger your bonus will be. Finally, our reputation is not our greatest asset. Our reputation is shit. There's always some bunch of Puritans trying to censor our films, magazines, or boycott our book clubs. Fortunately, the executive, legislative, and judicial... Did you... Did you branches are all represented on our VIP client list. Keep it that way. Good luck and welcome aboard. Larry Saylor, DMA. Oh, whoa. Wait, is this for me or is this... Luma screens. Nope. Okay. Jesus. Another peak... All right. So this is movies. Morning news. I urge all managers and staff to maintain a calm, professional attitude during this difficult time. The board was full confidence that Mr. Slater will be cleared of any wrongdoing. Please refer any press inquiries to my office. Sink morning news. We did that. Sinking ship. Did you see Sam's email? What a joke. Stocks down 30%. Uh, no bottom in sight. I love the boss, but he's fucked. Feds don't scream treason unless they can prove it. I can. I put in my two-week notice. Got a gig over at Cat's Paw. Any club on the strip would jump at somebody with your experience. But if you want to get into magazine business, I'll gladly give you a reference. All right. So obviously the the computer that we saw at the house had some information. I'm guessing the CEO uh, did something about treason, and the feds were after him. That makes sense now. Okay. These are all reviews for the some of the holovids we've found. Move screen control. Off light only lollipops. Man, vintage dragon. Let's do light only. Whoa, look at that. Welcome to the future. The future is for you. Alright. Um Do you want to set up Oh yeah, look at that. Oh. oh. That's awesome. That's pretty awesome. Let me see. How may I serve you, Matt? Mm -mm 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 -mm. I wonder if you don't have to take pictures if the uh, if the cameras do it for you now. All right, I'm gonna talk to Hilly, Hilly Billy, Halley Wally, Johnny, Jake, and John. Get out of my way, everybody! Hey, 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 old man! 
Old man. We have fun yet? Oh, yeah. I have all the equipment we need to make holovids. All right, I guess. All right, cool. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, that's just peachy. Now all you need is somebody what knows how to use it. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> have a good one. You mother... <laughs> I have no emails. No one loves me. All right, we're, we're losing money because we're not selling anything. There's the bathrooms. All right, so we set up. Yeah. I guess we need to find someone. How about a call it? No, I was thinking. No, okay. I guess we have to find. Imagine, I'm, I would imagine it was one of the people in a Perump, maybe, maybe Molrat or his brother. I guess we could talk to Molrat's brother. All right, so we went to Perump. Uh, this is where it brings you. So you know, we haven't actually been in a number of these locations. So I guess we'll just search around. Actually, isn't he? He should be right there. There's the man of the hour, fixing a generator. Hello. Whoa! Activate. This device is inoperative due to a burned out plasma guide. The guide has been partially replaced with a hand wound coil. Oddly enough, it looks like it will actually work once the repairs are complete. What's up? Not much. Uh, so you're working on a fusion generator. Can you repair my gear? You can you help me with some things for my house? Hmm. Let's talk about halvids. Sure. Maybe two more rats as a person. All right. Uh, fusion generator. It's kind of a hobby. I fool with it when I don't have a lot of other work waiting. Why don't you just replace the tube? Calibrating that spark gap is going to be a bitch. Tell me about it. But I've pulled apart every radio and TV in the valley and can't find one with the right specs. Hey, if you ever find a 3M6K or something close, bring it back to me. I'd trade you something good for it. Hmm. 3M6K? 3M6K, you say? 3M6K. All right. Um... Yeah! That should last a while. Thank you. Well, let's uh, go in these buildings and touch things and then leave. Parump Saloon. Holy shit! Oh my god! <laughs> hey, Zelazny. Greetings, friend. Really? You're not gonna say anything to me? You got a whole friggin' moonshine going on here? Ethanol? Jeez, man. Jiminy, jeez, ma Jiminy, jeez, my gerbs. My god. You're welcome in the valley, stranger. Thank you. Alright. <laughs> Oh, jeez, that was, that was a lot, a lot of stuff in there. <laughs> I was not expecting that. I was expecting, like, another just random saloon. Are these all empty? Hey, Siandra, you're needed. Hi. Hi, what are you, what are you doing sleeping here? They're like... They're literally... You're welcome in the valley, stranger. There are tons of empty houses. Hello, friend. All right. Sometimes you just like to sleep in an abandoned building. Groove a -tron. Whoa, it's a little bit dark in here. Groovatron. It's time to move along with the Groovatron. RWI requires key. Oh. Whoa. It's bigger on the inside. Ooh. 
Looking around, touching things, opening cabinets. Get ready for an exciting day. It's me opening doors. Bum, ba, da. Guess what I'm doing today? Bum, ba, da. Well, I'm opening doors. Bum, ba, da. Guess what I'm doing today? Bum, ba, da. Well, I'm opening a ton of doors. Bum, ba, da. I'm opening a ton of doors. It's gonna be a river on time. So come with me and look at these fantastical doors. Mercenary outfit patterns. LAPD Jeremy Peterman. Oh, do these these probably have to do with the uh, that other investigation? Whew. Yeah, these definitely have to do with that other information. Uh, appreciation is, uh, I appreciate you. You come over to my house and you provided pie. Fresca Koi case. Oh, dear. All right, we haven't been doing this Fresca Koi thing, but. All right, well, I might, I'll probably, I don't know if I'm going to do the Fresca Koi one. Because it is a side. If you guys want to read these, you pause the video. If I want to read them, I'll just look over the video again. Alright. Huh. That's probably more evidence. Sorry, Mr. Fan. We're not a fan of you. Someone went out. Well, hello. Oh, this way they train for the Olympics? Oh, you betcha. They go tumble jumps on those little tires and they shoot the things over there. It's perfect. Alright, I'm gonna go find Mole Rats. Maybe he's got some uh, information regarding... Uh, how to do the holotape video, and we'll be back. And my little girl's the school teacher. So we found Nils. Uh, I missed his opening dialogue because I didn't realize he was an actual person because everyone has a name in this town. So uh, the uh, school teacher is her, his daughter. Your kids have unusual names. Now there's a tale. Olivia's not from around here, and she thought it was weird that people name their kids from books. So we started our own tradition, which I suppose a lot of people think is weird too. We name them after dump trucks. Saffron isn't that weird for a girl's name. I suppose not. Right after she was born, I stepped outside and smelled our spice garden on the wind. So we named her Saffron Breeze. A coyote laughing, on the other hand. <laughs> after he was born, I stepped outside and heard a coyote bark. Sounded like it was having a good time, so we named him Coyote Laughing. After our third son was born, I shat my pants, so we named him Shit Pants. Let me guess, after the mayor was born, you saw... Yep, but Olivia thought giving him three names was pretentious, so we dropped humping off the end. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, how come you spend so much time in here, old man? It's because you're jerking off. Um... Now there's a tale. Some folks think I miss the old days when I was a big wheeler and dealer, so I still like being around the action. Some think it's because Olivia would put me to work scrubbing pots and pans if I hung around the house all day, which is probably true. Others think it's because this is the only place in town that runs the air conditioner, and that is pretty nice. But the truth of the matter is we spend most of our time in here because Ichabod has a hard time leaving Perry's behind. Why does two mole rats talk like that? Now there's a tale. When he was eight, no, nine, that was the summer we had the locusts, he found a holovid player in an abandoned house near the canyon. He got it powered and running and even found tapes that played. I wanted to scold him for being so far south, but honestly, I was too impressed. We watched a movie together, the two of us and Coyote. What was it about? A fella who could have solved his problems ten ways that never occurred to him. 
If he knew he couldn't figure out how to fix it without spilling blood, he should have done that first and saved some film. What happened? After it was over, two mole rats pointed out that the sidekick should have been the hero. He talked funny, but he was the only character with any sense, and he saved the day in the end, even though the hero got the credit. Oh, it's the, uh, I know what they're talking about. Uh, they did a remake with Johnny Depp and no one liked it. He's been talking like that sidekick ever since. It amuses some folks and annoys some others. Most of us are just used to it. But I think the fact that he liked the sidekick better than the hero is a big part of why they made him the mayor. Goodbye. Good day, sir. You lose. Yatahe. Yeah, don't give me that. Look at these. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Oh, let's see. They're using a bed. Oh, that's awesome. Jesus Christ, ball arms. <laughs> hey. Feel free to borrow whatever you need. If you want to keep it, you can drop off something else the next time you're here. Here's a rocket. We can always use more tools. Launcher. 